In this video, I'm going to show you how to make highlighted comments or any other popped out text look clean and professional. To begin, I added a video clip to my timeline along with an image of my comment to the V3 track. We're going to be sandwiching an adjustment layer between the video clip and our comment, so make sure you have an empty track here. So the first thing we need to do is quickly blur our footage before displaying the comment. Right click in the project panel and go to New Item Adjustment Layer. Drag it a little past the start of your footage. Now head over to the Effects panel and type Gaussian Blur into the search box. Drag the effect onto your adjustment layer. Up in Effect Controls for the adjustment layer, make sure the time head is positioned at the start of the clip. Then click on the stopwatch next to the Blurriness property to create a starting keyframe. Move the time head a tad to the right and then increase the blurriness to 100 to create your ending keyframe. Also be sure to check Repeat Edge Pixels to get rid of the blackboard around the blur. Okay, now that we have our blur transition in place, let's move on to the comment. Reposition your comment to start right after the footage is completely blurred. Then head over to the Effects panel. Type Drop Shadow into the search box. Then drag it onto your comment on the timeline. Back up in Effect Controls, we're going to adjust a few properties for our comment's drop shadow. These adjustments might be slightly different for you, but here's how I did mine. Set the opacity to around 85% to darken the shadow. Change the distance to 12. And lastly, I'm going to set the softness to 17. Alright, this is looking pretty good, but for a finishing touch, let's give this a little more life by very slowly zooming into our comment. To do this, let's head over to the project panel. Drag another adjustment layer onto the track above your comment. You can just use the one that's already in the project bin from before. Adjust its duration so that it matches the length of your comment. Then go to the Effects panel and type Transform into the search box. Drag the effect onto your adjustment layer. Up in Effect Controls for the new adjustment layer, navigate to the Transform effect you just added. Position the time head at the start of the adjustment layer. Click the stopwatch toggle next to Scale to create a starting keyframe. Drag the time head to the end of the adjustment layer and increase its scale a small amount to create the ending keyframe. We want the zoom to be super slow and gradual so that it gives our video a slightly animated feel rather than a jarring zoom. Okay, and now when I play this back, we have a nice looking highlighted comment in Premiere. Alright guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.